Um, right, good afternoon. Um, I'd like to talk a little about uh, individuals and interactions over processes and tools. Um, this is a tagline that gets thrown around. Um, it's kind of listed as the first, um, first value, first comparative value in the Agile Manifesto. Uh, and there's a big question as to what does it really mean? Because in many cases, I find that when people are pursuing Agile, either specifically because they have something in mind, or even broadly, just we're doing Agile because we feel we ought to, um, because other people are, so not necessarily a good reason, um, there is a surprising reliance on the second category. For some people, Agile development seems to be associated um, with a very strict interpretation of process. For other people, there's a little thought bubble that goes on. They think of the tools. They think of their testing frameworks. They think of their continuous inter uh, integration frameworks. They tend to associate it um, with these various uh, mechanical features. Now, these are useful. These are good. I'm not going to say they're bad. That's definitely not the idea of the comparative. But there is this question about understanding a little bit more about the individuals and, indeed, how they interact. So I want to explore that a little bit. Um, I guess a brief bio. Um, I my brief bio is, I'm Kevin Henney, and I walk around the stage a lot, so I'm moving this out of the way, because otherwise there will be damage uh, to me and this. Right. There we go. Uh, and my back, that's just done the right thing. OK. Um, so I've, I've been involved in um, software-type stuff. Probably the most relevant things here are fact, a long-term interest in patterns and the relationship that patterns um, have not simply to design, but the way that people reason, discuss, and view, and frame problems, and their solutions. Um, and curiously enough, this uh, crowd, crowdsource, open source book, 97 Things Every Programmer Should Know, <laughs> which, as the editor, I managed using everything I'd learnt from agile development. Um, how do you get a bunch of disparate volunteers who've never met one another to contribute um, and uh, write well? Um, this is an interesting problem. Um, and it turns out that uh, a number of the techniques that I learnt um, <coughs> were very relevant to this. However, let's go back to this, which I hopefully uh, has, everybody has good sight recognition of, understands the the 